Well, what do you do with your leftover Halloween candy? For some in the Brainerd Lakes area, they take it to the dentist office. Sarah Winkleman has the details of the candy buyback. Snickers and Musketeers, Tootsie Rolls. All kinds of candy were brought into the candy buyback today at Niswa Smiles. They get a dollar for every pound that is brought in up to five dollars. Three, four, five. There you go. Thank you. We send everything that we collect overseas to the troops. We send it through Operation Gratitude. It's an organization that is close to Dr. Luke's heart as he was once on the receiving end of the operation. Well, I'm a vet myself and um, I remember getting packages through um, things like this and, and other organizations like this as well. And it, it was nice to get them. Now it's his turn and he's hosted the candy buyback for the past five years. Candy of all shapes, sizes, and flavors can be donated. Now, the only restriction comes with powdered candy like Pixie Six due to shipping restrictions. We let them take the, the good stuff that they want, and then they bring us back the stuff that they didn't want. Six pounds! Holy buckets! Holy buckets! The support for the troops is what keeps the kids bringing in their candy. All the people that are defending our country can have some, something sweet to eat. But after all, it is a dental office and there is the added benefit of promoting healthy teeth. We don't want people to have cavities and their teeth to hurt, so the more that they give back is great. For healthy teeth and happy parents. We've decided that it's just too much candy for us and so we decided to bring it up here and give it to Dr. <laughs> Luke so that he can send it over to the troops. Last year, the group collected a total of 75 pounds, thanks to the help from local supporters. We've gotten a lot, probably just as much candy from you know stores or people that bought it for trick or treaters and then don't want it in the house because then they'll eat it, so they, you know, they bring it in too. All of the candy will be sorted, boxed up, and shipped off to the troops. Reporting in Niswa, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The candy should arrive for the troops by the end of the month. Great idea. It is. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.